Ooh. Okay, hello YouTube, February 29th, 2016, and I'm here with a regular blog talk video. Very tired, very poop. I just got finished doing a half hour product haul video on my main channel, Diva Natural One, and whew, that was exhausting. Y'all know how I get tired when I do videos on an empty stomach. I did my cardio, and I talked about how I did my cardio, and my beauty maintenance routine and all of that this morning where I did not have time to eat like normal. And then tomorrow I got to do my shaving. Ugh, I don't even know if I should stretch this shave out or not considering that I test on Monday. I don't know. Mm. I think I'm going to have to end up shaving twice this week. I'm going to go ahead and shave tomorrow, Tuesday, and then... Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, and shave again Sunday, five days. I typically don't, I typically wait 10 days between shaving um, for me. But since I do have state board exams this upcoming Monday again, um, well, at least I think it's this upcoming Monday. Yeah, because it's only, tw this is the last day of the month. This is throwing me off because of, you know, leap year and whatever. So, yeah, tomorrow's the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. No! Okay. My exams is Tuesday instead of Monday. I'm thrown off because my last exam that I just took was on Monday. If you're following me on my main channel, I passed. Woo! We are 75% there, y'all. I passed my written exam. Um, I had an hour and a half to do my exam. I got finished within 50 minutes. And that was with um, going back over, proofreading and everything. And I passed pretty well. I needed to 75 to pass and I scored not as good as I expected. I scored an 83, but I still passed, y'all. The reason why I scored... In the 80 percent, it doesn't matter because it's not like nobody sees what you score. It's like a doctor. It's not like if your doctor's got a C on their final exam, that um, that makes them any different than the person who got an A. In this type, in this type of profession, is about the actual skills and learning it overall, and not just becoming a good test taker. It's about you know furthering your knowledge as you go. But what caught me off guard with this is because we were not trained in our We did do medical aesthetics, but we, as a school, we operated more so like a spa, even though we had the medical equipment. I did microderms on people left and right. Um, I did my, more microderms I can count. Not so many on um, the crystals. I do got to start working with the crystals more. I was a diamond tip girl. Um... We did the LEDs and all of that, but those are not the questions that I got. Matter of fact, I did not get one LED question on my written exam. I got a lot of questions that went into advanced um, aesthetics that uh, it was impossible for us to learn in school. I got questions like removing fat from the tr from the top of the eyelid. Um, I've gotten Botox questions. Um, all of that liposuction. I'm like. At first, I was confused because I was like, okay, did they get me? Am I in the right department? Uh, like, because the whole building is various testing zones. But I was like, no, this is the cosmetics art building. So, it's nobody else can be here, but, you know, unless you're an esthetician, a cosmetologist, or a nail tech. It's not like I could have got, wait a minute, no. The, the the nursing station was somewhere over as well. So I, I that's how I thought. I said, did they mistake me for nursing or whatever? Because fat transfer. But anyways, that's why I scored so low. Because I got hit with them kind of questions. But all the makeup questions, skincare questions, all of that, I passed with flying colors. All the questions that I didn't do too well on was questions that I was not as familiar with. I did score a couple of them right because I do have a previous background in chemistry and whatever. So when it came to the science questions that dealt with chemistry, I could easily pass that. Anatomy is not my thing. So when it came to um, what is the um, 
reconstructive of the eye or whatever. I'm like, bitch, this is nothing that I'm going to be doing. <laughs> like, that is so weird. They ask me questions that is like something that a dermatologist would do because... As an esthetician, I don't go below the dermis of the skin. So it was like they was asking me questions that was regarding needles and stuff. I'm like, okay, I, this will be I I I can go right on to Cape Fear Status. I'm I'm applying for a job at Cape Fear Status because it's like, mm, that threw me for a fucking loop. <sighs> this phone is getting on my fucking nerves with all these darn on emails left and right. But yeah, I passed regardless of that little mess. I was not prepared for that at all to get hit with all the medical questions when we did not learn nothing medical except for, you know, microderm, LED. We learned about the machines. We did not learn about, you know, ejecting nobody with Botox. But since I passed, I guess I could go to a medical dermatologist and learn further skills in that area as well. Um, that's and that's about it that's been going on with me in that regard. Um, oh, I promised that I would show y'all my wall. I finally did get my certificates up on the wall, so there they are over there in its glory. For the month or so that I'm here, speaking into existence, it's show time, child. New chips that I'm trying out. Okay, I guess the neighbor is hammering or whatever. One second, y'all. Okay, I'm back. Another thing I can't stand about this motherfucking house is when you hear the next door neighbor's door knock, it sounds like your door is knocking. You can hear the neighbors in the kitchen. You can smell the neighbors during weed. I don't smoke weed. And I about borderline get a contact high some days throughout the motherfucking week going to my kitchen for a Mountain Dew because of the darn weed smell going through the motherfucking walls. Like... When I tell you, when Diva Wan gets up out of this dilemma right here, I ain't ever, ever get an apartment again. Never. Never. And I can't even yell like I motherfucking want to because the, the damn walls are this motherfucking thin. Like, oh, mm mm. No. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Nope, 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 nope. Diva Wine can't do it. Diva Wine ain't going to do it. Diva Wine is getting a house. I don't give a damn how much it motherfucking costs. I don't give a damn if Diva Wine got to get on the dang old pole and be like Hosseline Hernandez. Miss Hosseline Hernandez. Diva Wine ain't getting no dang apartment. Y'all say whatever y'all want to about Diva Wine. Oh, Lord. Diva Wine or the sell the sell short. Diva Wine used to be so motivational and positive and all this. Now he's shaking his darn on 42-inch hips on the dang on pole. You're damn right because Diva Wine is not about to deal with this shit right here come 2016. And I, I done got so sidetracked with that darn on door knocking that I forgot to tell y'all the chips that I'm eating today. Y'all know I'm a huge fan of Doritos, so the new flavors out is the Doritos Mitz Taco Explosion. You got your taco, which is this long thing right here. Sour cream. You got salsa. And you got spicy nacho. And I'm loving these mugs. Oh, and they got another one. Cheese Explosion. Hmm. I'm not sponsored by Doritos anyway, but if they want me to be in the 2017 commercial, I sure can. Mm, 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 mm. This thing ain't bad. The only Doritos that I hate is the cheeseburger. Every other one I love. These things. Mm, 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 mm. 
But anyways, this ain't Food Network. Y'all ain't come to see me um eat chips and whatever. Y'all can't hear about my personal life and what's going on. Yep, I passed my um written, waiting on my um practical. So after tomorrow, cause Tuesday I'm gonna like I said Tuesday I'm gonna shave and then reshave um Sunday. No, I'm gonna reshave that Monday. I'm gonna reshave the the day after. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So that give me a full six days. That'd be good. And the reason why I had to time it is because I don't like to exfoliate more than three times because, you know, over exfoliating can cause the skin to thin. It can cause it to build a defense level right here for guys where... You know, it gets purplish down here. And you get that discoloration and that irritation. And I haven't dealt with that in two months now. Ever since I left beauty school, ironically, this issue's been clearing up for me. So let me show y'all my neck. In this area, it is clearing up. Shut the fuck up, phone. Um, this area is clearing up. It's no longer purple. Shut the hell up. Anyways, this area is clearing up. Just a little bit of ingrowns, but that's it. Um, I haven't dealt with that white cast or whatever. And I had to pretty much grant that to my um, products that I got. Um, my body pills. I've been doing my body pills for two months now. I've been doing my exfoliating three times a week, all of that. So I definitely got to do a video in March on that, and we I don't just discussed all that on the other ch um, channel, so feel free to look at my previous video on that. So we ain't gonna run this up 20 minutes talking about that. But anyways, this is really holding me over until I start my electrolysis. I'm still looking forward to undergoing electrolysis in this area to permanently get rid of this hair. I'm gonna document my journey on that. I'm gonna finally get the darn on camera out the closet. Come out the closet, and I want to take y'all to the electrolysis. Um, I see, I see that's the popular thing going on right now. I see YouTube done ran all the uh, higher up partners with you know sponsorships and stuff um, with um, laser companies and everything. Y'all think it's really just a coincidence that all these YouTubers. Just all of a sudden just thought about just doing laser hair removal and going to the dermatologist off the spirit of whim. YouTube, I see what you're doing. Yeah, before I became an esthetician, a girl got a de girl went and got a degree in marketing. So I see what's going on with these YouTubers all of a sudden getting laser and stuff all of a sudden. I'm like, okay. Step y'all marketing game up. Do y'all boo. Mm, okay. Um, another thing I've been seeing with YouTubers is YouTube must have dropped them a huge ass bonus check because also coincidentally everybody is up and moving is able to get a house and all this that and the third. It is like mm, okay now the dreams that I aspire to be dreams that I aspire to be. Now I don't know if I ever get up there as far as YouTube. I don't. I don't even look forward to it at these moments. Um, I'm making moves in my real life. Trying to get back on my grind, get back on my hustle in real life. Like I told you, no, I don't think I dropped that. I just dropped the ball earlier on my, um, <sighs> these notifications ain't no motherfucking joke today. I haven't watched the Oscars. I haven't watched the Oscars. It's on record. Ugh. I'm not doing a review of the Oscars, by the way. It's three and a half hours long. I'm sure everybody else's reviews will be up anyways. I was too busy catching up on... I was clearing out my history of Fab Life. I had 35 episodes backed up on Tyra Presents the Fab Life. So, I've been clearing that down. And right now, I am down to... I got 36 episodes of General Hospital. 17 episodes of Wendy Williams. 30 episodes of Days of Our Lives. Sneak peek of Mary Mary. Okay, 17 episodes of Fab Life. And I'm going to get through those today. And then I'm going to start knocking down these darn soap operas. 
And I'm wondering why Days of Our Lives didn't come on today. They had Darn on Bo and the Beautiful on Darn on Channel 10. I think Bo and the Beautiful typically comes on Channel 3. So I wonder what in the world is going on with Days of Our Lives. First, I seen the Darn on News talk of them wanting to cancel the Darn on Show. And now Days of Our Lives ain't on the dang on thing. What the hell going on now? What's going on, Disney? I don't know if y'all own NBC as well, but um, I, I didn't see Days of Our Lives um, get on my recorder today. What's going on? What, what's tea? Um, so that's about it. I think that's it. This phone getting on my motherfucking nerves. Beep it every two seconds. Yeah, Stan House is getting on my nerves. I'm through to I'm done with these darn on time lapse schedule. I'm done with this darn on poet ass lighting. And Yep, I'm just done, but I'm still gonna try to make it through. I'm gonna try to do as much videos as possible during the month of March, because I don't know what April is gonna guarantee. Cause by that time, um, since my um Let me drink a soda. I'm lightheaded, y'all. Okay, by April, my official license should come in the mail. Because I'm taking by exam on the 7th, and I'll be placing... It takes 48 hours to post to the Cosmetic Arts Board. That'll be the knife. Then within three weeks you can um within three weeks you should get your official license in the mail. So by April the first I should do that. Um and that be it. Um I don't know where I'm going from there, but it's going somewhere. I don't know if I'm going to the aesthetics or the pole. And if one may be twirling on the darn on bow because it, this is some bullshit, y'all. This is some bullshit. One is contemplating on becoming a stripper. Uh, no, a exotic dancer again. Oh, Lord. I don't know why I said stripper. There, there's a difference between exotic dancer and stripper. Uh, D1 ain't taking off no clothes like that. Mm -mm, no. D1 may be contemplating on going around and becoming a exotic stripper again. Um... Hopefully we don't have to go there. And if one still wants to be overall classy, but I'm tempted to do that. I swear the struggles of the hood, the struggles of the dang on hood. And people wonder why darn on um black folk in the hood go through the shit they go through. You know, they darn on crackheads, they darn on potheads, they darn on pill poppers. Or they motherfucking darn on selling one of the three to shit or multiple items at once. It's very rare in my neck of the woods of where I grow up. I am the point one percent that neither sells drugs nor do drugs. How tempted I have been to sell the motherfuckers and get on out this son of a bitch. To be on my darn on Jay-Z. And sell the motherfuckers. And then repent later on. By giving back to the darn on lower cause. Hell. Jay-Z. That's how he started off. And that's where he got his $550 million. So Devin Wan has been tempted a time a motherfucker too. I tell you. When the struggle is real. And it doesn't help that I got a background in chemistry. Uh, I, we we just gonna lay that all out on the motherfucking table. Go on ahead and get your dang on soul. The diva wine just gonna just lay all the shit out on the motherfucking table. In this area that I'm in, and I don't give a damn who sees this. It's full of darn gone druggies. We gonna break it on down from the perk heads. You got you you got your perk six. Where there's five one twelves, where there's three tens, where there's the round ones, where there's the little tingy yellow ones. They're coming out with some new colors now. That's a little bit on the blue side. But everybody, that top name brand Percocet five one twelve. Then you break it down to the oxycodone. 
works slower than the Percocet. Percocet, the fast high. Um, oxycodone, the slow high. Then you got the weed. That is the most darn on one to get you buzzed up, but nobody don't want to use it because it stays in the system for a full 30 days, whereas the crack cocaine and the pills go out the system within 24 to 72 hours. And it's like, okay, I can understand that for the functioning drug addicts who actually have jobs and have to get subject to random piss tests, but for the motherfuckers who don't got jobs, who ain't got jobs in over during all the decade, who don't plan on ever getting a job, and who, the motherfuckers who got jobs under the motherfucking table, I don't see what is the dang on difference. Like, why not smoke something that's more herbal, that comes from the earth, that's more natural for your body, that you know what's in the shit, as opposed to crack cocaine, which is a combination of sodium bicarbonate mixed up with some common household chemicals, um, cook back, um, because once you make the final product, it is this, it's the pure product of yellow, and then you cook it back again, and it has the whiteness to it, like the darn on, um, color of the sodium bicarbonate, and then you sell it on the block for about this much for 20 damn dollars. Like, really? Like, in, in, and if I really wanted to be about that life, Diva Wine would be sitting on a motherfucking Rolls Royce in this darn on bitch. Well, out of this bitch. But, you know, my conscience wouldn't let me do that. Mm -mm. I, I could not do that. I could not cook up no darn on sodium bicarbonate with some darn on Drano and a few other chemicals and just contaminate my whole darn on neighborhood despite the fact that they already fucked up in one level on the floor. The fire picks of hell as it is. But Diva Wan is not going to push them even further than what they already are dropped down to. I cannot do. But I tell y'all, it has been times that I have contemplated it. But the background in chemistry wouldn't have been nothing but too easy to knock out every darn on poor ass drug dealer on this motherfucking block selling cookback shit. Like I said, once you make the pure product, it's yellow, and then you cook it back again, and it's white. And then they sell it for twenty dollars. And then you sell the darn old show enough. Uh, I think it, I think they call it the eight ounce for fifty dollars. The crack cocaine. Um, then you got your Percocets, and they go by a dollar a milligram. So you perk fives or five dollars, you perk tens or ten dollars, you perk twenties or twenty dollars. And in the recession, some people want to make the perk five, six, and seven dollars. Bitch, you tried it, and it's a shame when somebody who doesn't you know, do none of this, knows all this information. Just growing up in the hood. That's the knowledge that you learn growing up in the hood. Um, but the thing is, you stay motivated. You don't let nothing get, you don't let it get to you. And you stay on your goals. And that's what I've been trying to do. That's why Diva Wine always is in this house. Don't go nowhere. Because it ain't nothing to do. I don't got no car, and I'm not about to be on the darn on block, because that is all the activity that goes on outside this house, on the motherfucking block. Po, po drug dealers selling dirt, mm, excuse me, po drug dealers selling darn on product to the darn on crackheads and potheads and pill poppers and everything else, and they're still stuck in the ghetto as well, because they smoking their own shit, they popping their own shit, or they are um, using the discretionary income that they make off of said product that they're selling to enjoy in other illegal narcotics. For example, the average um, cocaine seller typically indulges in pot because they make enough money off of darn old cocaine. We're going to break down these prices right here. Let me see. You got about an average, let's say on the average block, you got about 20 motherfuckers. Call you left and right. That's another thing about a darn gone crackhead. They, they, a crackhead, they call, they, they don't never think to just get all of it at one time. They get a little bit, and then they call back for the drug deal for smoke. Get a little bit, call the drug dealer back for smoke. Get a little bit, call the drug dealer back for smoke. So, you got to think of what a drug dealer got to spend on gas. Because they got to make about darn on five turns back to that same house. 
the average smart drug dealer, they just sit at the end of the dang on block because they know this fool is going to get on the phone within 20 minutes and call back for some more. I've seen this for many, many, many years. I ought to do a darn gone show enough hour video on the destruction of drugs in the darn old neighborhoods of North Carolina and what we should do as people who are sober to try to get this darn old shit under control from the darn old illegal drug abuse to the prescription drug abuse that is on the motherfucking rise because these people are over and left and right on these darn old pills too. I've seen people pop 10, 12, 15 darn old perk fives at a time. It used to be just one perk Perk 5 and a darn on oxycodone pop together. Now I'm seeing motherfuckers pop darn on tealing, darn on pills like it ain't nothing. Popping Xanax like it ain't nothing. Popping the Xanny bars like it ain't nothing. <sighs> Child. Mm -mm -mm. But let's say you have an average of 25 people. All by $20 worth of crack. That's $500. But they buy about an average of four more times. $2,000. And let's just say that's just within a week. That times four, $8,000. $8,000 a month times 12. $96,000. I don't know why my darn on calculator always does this. It shows up white on here, but it got the numbers. $96,000 is the average amount that these drug dealers make on the very low. That's not even high end. Because I've seen people spend as much as $300. They've run up a tab of $300. Now you think of 20, 25 people running up a tab of $300. That's $7,500 a month. $700,500. No, a week. Times that by a month. That's four. 30,000 times that by 12, 360,000. So anywhere your drug dealers are making anywhere from $96,000 or low to as much as $360,000 a year at the very high. And that's just a little small area of North Carolina. This is the poverty state. $360,000 a year. That's a... Uh, mm. But anyways, he, um, Diva One has definitely been tempted by them things right there. I mean, get out of darn old school of student debt and all of that motherfucking shit. But, nope. I ain't going to deal with the darn old stress that comes with that. So, Diva One is remaining positive, remaining motivated. We're going to get that type of money by other means. Um... I don't know what the means are just yet, to be honest. I'm going through a breakdown of sorts because this phone keep going off every two seconds. And I only got about two more minutes to record. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, that's all that's going on with me. I just had to lay all of that out. It's been built up for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. And that's just a sample of all that shit right there. So, hopefully, when I get this practical, girl can get on out the ghetto. And, because when, you, when you're surrounded by all this shit, it just brings you down. And everybody else cannot see how you're brought down because they're so motherfucking high and shit. Like I said, I'm surrounded by darn on people just spaced out on darn on pills, spaced out on doing this, that, and the third. It's like I'm the only sober person in this immediate area. If I'm not the only sober person, it's usually the old motherfucker sitting on the porch being goddamn nosy like, bitch, this is not 1962. Why are you policing the goddamn streets, so? Okay, y'all, I'm about to get off. I'm sorry. This darn old phone gonna make me throw this motherfucker through the darn old thing. If I get one more goddamn Oscar notification, I'm gonna throw this bitch out the motherfucking window. But y'all, that's what's going on with me. Just rest.
out, stress the hell out, wondering what am I going to do. Hmm. Honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do, y'all. I don't know what I'm going to do. Now, I don't want y'all getting nervous. I'm not about to go start cooking up no darn gone crack and selling it on the darn gone street and make 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 thousand dollars and get out of debt and all of that good stuff. How tempted it is, I'm not going to let that evil phase me. But Diva Wine does got to make, do something drastic within the next 30 days to get on out this slump because I, 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 I got to get out of here for the base of my sanity. I mean, I feel my sanity is getting darn gone thrown off by the moment. And I don't want to be like darn gone Kanye Riss um, on darn on Twitter having this motherfucking meltdown. And then I seen old Orlando Brown from Lovely T's video. His ass done had a motherfucking breakdown. Although, you know, both of them do drugs, so maybe that has a, you know, throughout their darn gone balance up here. But I ain't trying to be um, going in no darn gone downward spiral. So, I'm going to do something. I don't know what it is, but Diva One is definitely going to try to do something within the next 30 days. Because, hmm. I don't like this angle. Make my eyes look tear. I'm not crying, y'all, by no means. Because I have gone through hell and back and... Okay. Mm. Yeah, this is like making my ass look tear. I'm not teary-eyed, not boy for damn, y'all. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to have to do something. I feel like I'm repeating myself over and over and over again. See, I'm telling y'all, bitch is about to go insane. Definition of insanity... Is doing something over and over and over again and expecting a different result. So I got to do something different because I've been doing the same thing and it has not been working. So I have to do something different because I feel myself going insane. I feel like I'm going to kill somebody fucking body. I feel like I'm going to have a nervous breakdown. I cannot do this shit. I, I, I don't know what's going to happen. So y'all please pray for me that the one does not snap and y'all do not see me on the news. Um, because y'all see me on the news, bitch gonna be darn gone just expressionless, like, like, I ain't gonna have no sadness, and I ain't gonna be one tear, bitch done a snap, he done a told us, he couldn't do it, bitch gonna snap, it seemed like everybody up in this darn on area of the hood is always the bad motherfuckers getting rewarded, and the darn good people just suffering. Like, goddamn, I, I'm going to have to do a part two to this darn on shit because this is enough. And I know it's going to already take about darn on two hours to get this darn on 40 minute video uploaded on here. But I just got to release all this right now today. Diva one is going to do something. I don't know, but I'm going to do something. I don't know if I just should, should just pack up and just do a, just relocate and start brand new. Take my darn old trophies off the motherfucking wall and just get all my stuff in a box, rent a U-Haul, and just rent a house and just go from there, start a whole new life. Maybe if I'm just surrounded by a whole new atmosphere, my whole life will come up. It's, and I ain't, and when I say come up, I'm not talking about, you know, financial-wise. I ain't talking about traveling all over the world and all this, that, and these other, you know, motherfucking YouTubers. Though. I, I can really care less about that. I'm a homebody. When I mean come up, I mean come up as far as a stability, as far as just being peaceful being able to just do simple stuff like feel just cook a meal just for the fun of it just you know experiment with different stuff and be in a income bracket where i can you know do a vegan cleanse three weeks of trying something of vegan and you know exercise more stuff like that that's what i mean by come up i ain't 
I can care less about, you know, wearing a... Now, I do love me some Versace and some Givenchy and some Roberto Cavalieri. Um, but as far as the overall glitz and glam and shit, I, I could really care less about that. I would be very happy if I could say by the end of this year, I am in a state of stability where I can say I can just cook and experiment with foods off of Rachel Ray and you know, I can just get my body snatched like it used to be back in 2012. I mean, my waistline was snatched to the gods. I had the darn on. I had the darn on modelistic ab game going on. I want to be able to do that. That's all I want. I don't want to travel the world. I don't want no endorsement deals. I don't want... The companies contacting me. All I want is stability. That's all I want. Just stability. Away from the hood. Away from all this drama. Away from people who don't have nothing else to do in life but to waste their money on crack and weed and Percocets and Zanny bars and all of that. I'm tired of seeing it. It's been too damn long. So hopefully after I get my darn own practical... I get a call back from one of these dang on jobs saying I'm hired. Um, and like I said, this can go into part two because it's like, ugh. I take one step forward and I keep going two steps back. And it's really doing a toll on me. It's like my finances are getting smaller and smaller by the day. I'm, I'm blessed to be self-deployed. I'm blessed to be, um, but there's only so much right now that my limited funds can do. My funds just does enough to keep my darn gone, you know, stuff afloat. So, hopefully I really get this darn old job. <sighs> okay, that's it, y'all. I know I've been ranting and raving and just complaining and going into a downward spiral for 30 minutes. I want to try to get on Instagram, Facebook, and just look at some pictures and stuff, and hopefully that'll make me happy. So, that is it, y'all. I typically would say like, share, subscribe, but, you know, these type of videos is not even warrant for it. I don't even think nobody would even look at my video this far. This would be one of them videos that I post on my YouTube for me to reflect back at it. But, yeah, it is what it is, y'all. Signing off.